2022 is about to end and I'm like, why don't I make a video about the best smartphones that have been released this year in 2022? And there are seven categories, with the last one being the best overall phone. Let's start with design. So, I really love the Pixel 7 Pro this year. I like how they made the wiser glossy and made it a bit more premium looking. But that's not the one. My favorite one is nothing phone one. And because of its lights on the back, like who wouldn't love that? Like, this design category is for those people that really value the look and the feel of their phone. And the Nothing Phone 1 would be the perfect phone for them. Okay, what's next? Gaming. Smartphones are going through a gaming revolution today and probably for the next decade or so. And there are a bunch of phones that have excelled in the gaming market, I including the iPhone. I mean, the iPhone is a has a is a phone with a very powerful chip. However, it's not made for gaming. It's made for the daily use of regular people that don't game. But yeah, the gaming yeah, yeah. phone award would go to yeah. the ROG Phone 6 Pro. I mean, this phone has specs that are maxed out and it has one of the best chips. And honestly, it is a gaming phone that you should buy. What about people who like compact phones, like small phones? I am one of them. I cannot handle a phone that's bigger than 6.1 inches. Like, I cannot do an iPhone 14 Pro Max or a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's just a no for me. And for that, I would go to the Asus Zenfone 9. Because this phone is a, has a 5.9 inch display and has some of the best cameras, the best software, and one of the best performances. And it is a phone that people should buy if they're considering a smaller phone. All right, what's next? Smartphones are gulping power. Like they are becoming so powerful that the batteries that they have stored inside them are just not big enough. But there are some smartphones that have excelled in battery life. One of them being the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but because the iPhone 13 Pro Max was released Last year, I can't really give a 2022 smartphone award to this. So then I will have to give it to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which still, by the way, has incredible battery performance. Or a camera. Like people who really want to store their photos and memories in a beautiful way. Then there are a bunch of phones this year that have done this incredibly well. One of them being the iPhone 14 Pro, but this is more of a daily use and cannot really compare with the higher end of smartphone cameras, such as the Vivo X80 Pro Plus. I mean, this phone has incredible smartphone photography, and the Vivo X90 Pro Plus that just came out a few days ago also has a one-inch sensor, which is pretty big, except we haven't really gotten to see any big reviews on it, so that will probably be safe for the Smartphone Awards 2023. However, there's one phone that excels in smartphone photography, and that would be the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. It has a one-inch sensor. It has one of the best chips to make some of the best software processing for those photos, and it just is an incredible camera phone. But what about budget phones? Like, people who want every bit of the money they have spent on that smartphone to be worth it. And there are a bunch of smartphone contenders that have done this exceptionally well. One of them being the Poco X4 Pro. I mean, this smartphone's around $200, but it packs in so many features that I am wondering how do they do it while still generating profit. But there is one smartphone that does this so good, which would be the, which would be the Samsung Galaxy A53. This phone's around $329 in the USA. And this smartphone is incredibly cheap for what you get. You get a pretty re reliable camera, pretty reliable software updates, and a bunch more features that I would be sitting here for hours listing. All right, let's move on to the next section. All right, it's time. We have to choose the best overall smartphone. Now, if you want to get an iPhone, then just get the iPhone 14 Pro, the biggest and better smartphone that is an iPhone that's out now. But it's a bit more complicated than that for Android. But this year, I'd have to give it to the Samsung S22 Ultra. I mean, this phone was released way back in February, and that is a long time ago, except even with the ear, ear, 
to for the co competition to catch up, it is still one of the best Android phones. However, the Samsung S23 Ultra is coming out next Feb, which is about two months away. And I would recommend that you guys wait for it. There are some rumors like saying that it'll get a 200 megapixel camera, uh, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, as of right now, the best overall smartphone would be the iPhone 14 Pro Max if you want an Apple experience, or if you want an Android experience and just get the Samsung S22 Ultra, or wait for the Samsung S23 Ultra. But yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Surya, and I'll see you next week.